Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh guys the last time we talked about the uh, introduction of multi-phase flow uh, so as I mentioned previously that uh, we have a we have a lambda L no slip hold up and then liquid hold up no slip liquid hold up and liquid hold up and then uh, we will use uh, Bex and Braille, which is have uh, uh, PSL. Uh, PSL is a uh, uh, superficial liquid velocity and VSG superficial gas velocity. Before we continue with this uh, discussion of Bex and Braille, because I will use an example uh, in the Bex and Braille. If you want to use other, please use, use others like uh, uh, Type C, like Series uh, C, Bex, Mikoji and Braille, uh, Dun and Ross, and etc. So, uh, in this book, you will have an uh, uh, example, a uh, detail of this uh, other, other uh, correlation. So, before we talk about the uh, correlation of Bex and Bill. Uh, I have this is uh, I will uh, share it with you the Bex and Bill modification unfortunately it's still in Indonesia so uh, before we uh, directly go to this Bex uh, uh, and Bill I would like to refresh again on the two phase uh, which is uh, Preparing the data. <coughs> uh, actually, what we have is the pressure and temperature at surface. Uh, uh, what I mean is the the data, the production data that we have actually is from the surface, which is after separator. What we are dealing with is the pressure and temperature in the pipe. So we have to convert from the separator to the uh, inside the pipe because we are we are working with the condition in the pipe so if more gas in the surface so will be less gas in the pipe this uh, sometimes is larger gas in the pipe it depends on the system if you are in the uh, gas system it will be different in the oil system so if you are in the gas system this is your reservoir uh, and then you ha have this here in the uh, surface so if you increase the pressure and temperature or just the pressure only you end up okay just the pressure only probably we end up with having the uh, more liquid in the pipeline but if you increase also the temperature in the pipeline as compared to the surface condition you end up with having less gas uh, I'm sorry more gas less liquid so it goes to this way okay and but in the case of oil if you here in a surface condition and if you increase the uh, the pressure you end up with having more more liquid uh, but if you go temperature and pressure also goes, goes to the right you might end up with having the same uh, it's less likely that you will have uh, more gas because of the, uh, the nature of this uh, uh, phase envelope of the oil. So this is the oil, typical oil phase envelope. This is typical gas, gas phase envelope. So in order to do that, we have to calculate uh, Q, uh, the, the rate from the surface to the pipeline. So 
if we have the uh, if we have the standard condition of uh, oil oil rate or liquid rate so you have to convert it to the condition of the uh, in the pipe which is multiplied by the BO the BO from the surface to the pressure and temperature in the pipe okay so if you see the chart of the BO you you have to 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 have to uh, have it and the pressure certain pressure of the BO a chart so if we convert it to feet cube per second which is what we need because everything is feet cube so we multiply it by 5.615 and divide it by 86,400 this is from day to uh, second this is from uh, barrel to feet and then we, uh, for the gas first we have to calculate the uh, gas formation volume factor which is uh, this formula 0 0.0283 ZT over P T of course in Rankine remember that everything should be Rankine not Fahrenheit and then the Q gas actually is coming uh, from the Q gas uh, uh, of uh, 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 free gas and from the oil so this one actually is uh, minus this area which is from the oil so from the surface part of them is already uh, gas and part of them is in liquid so this is in liquid and then this is a Q gas and then uh, so the Q gas is uh, uh, SAF per day, so cubic feet per day. Uh, remember, the Q gas is cubic feet per day, so you have to multiply by whatever you have there. For example, you have an MSF day, multiply by a million. If it's MSF day, multiply a thousand. So remember that Q as a Q gas of standard condition is n in a standard cubic feet. Okay, so these two here is the one that we needed for calculation of uh, VSL and VSC. Okay, and the second parameter is the density, a density of oil, of course, because uh, there are two uh, from surface uh, to the to the uh, height we have a, this is from original oil and this is from uh, the gas that uh, become oil so divided to be O and this is uh, uh, density of a gas 2.7 comma G pressure and divided by ZT which is T is in the ranking okay so <coughs> If we talk about uh, VSL, so this one is key liquid or key oil here, divided by area and VSG, key gas, key gas, key gas, divided by the area and D in feet of course. So you have to be aware of the uh, units of each of the uh, equations so be careful with equations uh, like this one uh, this one has to be in standard condition uh, in, in the SCF SCF per day and this one is has to be barrel and temperature has to be ranking okay D in this case has to be feet so <clears throat> this is the first part of the video, we continue on the second part later on, thank you.